Hey dogs, PJ Dog 10 Mom here, and welcome back to another episode of my Empyrean Galactic Survivor series. This one is called A New Beginning, and we are back today to make an SV. But before we do that, why don't we take a tour of where I'm going to be building my SV and what I've done to the base so far. But let's take a nice scenic view of my surroundings. Look how gorgeous this is, guys. Look at that sun. That is just absolutely stunning. I love this area that I've built my base on. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, I've got water all around me. Uh, perfect beach house for this environment. Okay, now let's go take a look at what I've done to the base and let's get this SV started. So right now we are on the upper deck of my uh, my build, my beautiful beach house. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. I'm going to give this place a name. Not sure what, but below us here, check that out, guys. So we have a little walkout that goes out to this deck uh, that has some seating area, which I am going to be um, adding more seating <clears throat> just to fill up the gap. Um, and then it's all fenced in so no critters can come and bother me while I'm out there. Um, and then over here is where we're going to be building our SV. That is the landing pad. I wanted to keep the theme of the wood and the stone. I thought it was beautiful. Instead of making something, you know, kind of flashy yellow and all sorts of different colors that are concrete, I thought I would take a little bit more time to make it all blend in. When I make my uh, nursery, my garden, whatever you want to call it, it's going to have the same appearance. Uh, I want to keep the theme going. So as you can see, I've used the same material as I have in the uh, columns here uh, for the landing pad. And I think that's, that's just brilliant. And with the lights, we've timed the lights so that it, uh, it's supposed to flicker on and off. All the browns are supposed to flicker together and all the uh, concrete lights, the lights on the... Who the heck is shooting? The lights on the concrete uh, um, area down there all flicker at the same time. Uh, so, what is going on over here? This guy over here was just shooting. Oh, I guess he's shooting those slugs. Um, it's <clears throat> keeping them at bay, I guess, because they are a bit of a nuisance around here. The, uh, I think they're called tripods, theropods, something along those lines. Correct me if I'm wrong. I will correct it later on while I'm editing. Um, but yeah, so uh, my hover vessel had a little bit of an upgrade, but not, sh not much uh, more. Um, it's pretty much the same. I have replaced the hover engine so that this thing actually flies over the water as opposed to sinking. Let's go ahead and take a look inside and then we'll get the build started. So inside we've got uh, bunk beds for when I find my, my mates out in space. I'll probably put a couple more bunk beds over there. Are you kidding me drones? Can you just let me get through this? Thank you. Um, over here we have a little seating area and we have my master bed. Obviously I get the master and uh, there's a little computer area to work on, <clears throat> work at. Around the corner here we have a bathroom facility. You have your toilet and your shower and a sink. Um, and I'm not sure what else I'm going to put up here but we'll, we'll decide that later on. Downstairs um, I think you guys have seen this. There's just two major seating area. This is going to be a reception area over here. Uh, and then it, down below, nothing really has changed. Oh, that's not true. I apologize. Uh, I'm adding on a section through here. Uh, we have not finished uh, building it yet, but uh, we're going to be adding on a section there to house all the medical equipment, etc. Uh, but other than that, this is, this is it. So let's just take a quick walk onto the deck so you can kind of get a feel of what that looks like. 
Um, so here, let's head out there. Oh my God, I, you know, this game is beautiful. But yeah, I really like this wood. Uh, I think this wood is fabulous. Um, but check it out. See, isn't that nice? I think I'm going to add one more seat there. And I'm going to add one more seat over here just to kind of balance that off. Um, and then the theme that I have here going around the edge um, of the planter, I'm going to do that all around because right now it's not doing that to the uh, west, south, and east side. So we'll make sure that that all matches. So here's where we're going to be building our, our SV. Um, I think... I was going to do a walk-in SV, like uh, what I mean by a walk-in, you can physically walk into it, but I think I will keep it on a small scale. So it won't be a walk-in per se, um, but I'll be able to access everything that I need. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to go gather up all the resource uh, that I need, and then we're going to get started. So I'll meet you guys back here in approximately five minutes see you later all right let's begin the build um now i'm going to place this down this is going to be actually my lower level um and then we're going to build up from there so given that that is pointing to the front so that's not going to be where my actual core resides uh let's place you right here Okay, so remember, this is going to be my lower level. I am going to add... <clears throat> uh, where is it? Thank you. Now, I'm probably going to need more blocks. I'm just going to add a couple blocks in the front. Take the connected base off. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Right, do this and do this. A little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, so remember that is uh, this is going to be the, the, the lower part of my plane. <clears throat> I will remove that core. Let's let's find a cockpit.
So we have four fuel tanks. We have uh, all of our items added except for additional lighting and um, some of the smaller um, thrusters. So I want to take it up for a ride and see how it feels before I dress it up, before I make it look pretty. Um, so that's the that's the core. That's what it's going to look like. Do I have fuel? All right, this is test drive number two. I actually ran out of iron. Oh, she's going up a lot better. That's a lot better. Let's go right, left. Okay, so I could probably, uh, let's go up again, like the up. Let's go down. Sorry, it's back. Let's go back. Let's go forward. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need a little bit more forward thrust for sure. Let's go back again. Okay, I'll tell you what, for now, Okay, let's go down. Let's go down. Let's go up. Wow. Okay, so down is too good, I think. Let's go down. down is just fine down is really good I don't think I need any more down um, I do need some more up I think all right I think what I'm gonna do is I'll add some of the smaller ones for for up am I over my no I'm not okay let's shift over here Okay, see, like, look at the down, look at the down, look how, look how fast the down is. I gotta actually release the down. I think backwards is okay. I just think forward, oh, actually from this angle, forward is fine, isn't it? Down's, down's good. Okay, I definitely need to work on the up. Okay, so we'll do a couple more things for up. Um, that was a really good test to see it on, uh, on the water. Okay.
So there she is. There is my SV. Uh, she's all done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's go down there and take a closer look before I sign off. <sighs> all right so we are down ground level this is what she looks like um i might tweak as far as boosters but uh, other uh, thrusters but other than that i think it's done um it's got everything it's got a warp drive in there um and uh Okay, let's take a look and see what uh, what we have uh, inside this thing. It's a level 10, two generators, four fuel tanks, uh, one oxygen station, two tanks, three rocket launchers, two Gatlin guns, uh, one cargo box. I will probably add a bunch more cargo box. Um, one fridge, one constructor. Uh, we have um, six back thrusters, four front thrusters, three top thrusters, and eight down thrusters. Four left, four right, and four RCSs. Um, so th there you have it. I want to thank you guys for coming out. Let's let's jump in. thank you guys for coming out and checking out this video I hope you enjoyed this is what she looks like right now I'm headed for outer space But that's it. Ah, I forgot to paint underneath. It's all right, we'll fix that. Look at that. Isn't she a beaut? All right, so on that note, please hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. See you guys next time. Ciao for now.